We're back with our third match of a Schedule 5 here in Badminton Ireland TV at the semi-finals of the 2014 Carlton Irish Open here at the Baldoyle Badminton Centre in North Dublin. Just a few minutes from Dublin Airport. This semi-final against featuring the 2012 champion Lena Carsfield, of course the Irish International as it was then. 2012 an international series event not a challenge back up to international challenge status in the last two years Carsfeld the winner on that occasion in 2012 against the returning Olga Conan of Germany of course Belarusian born one of the most talented players for sure on the circuit over the last number of years just hampered by so many injuries come through qualification this week Conan and now at the semi-final of this her first tournament in almost a year you have to go all the way down to the 15th page of the world ranking to find her but with just one world ranking event and that was the European men's and women's team championships in Basel back in February where she sustained a horrible injury after only coming back from injury on that occasion spent some time in Indonesia over the summer training has been very very classy this week but equally it's classy and equally as emphatic has been the performance of Lini Karsfeld the 2012 champion not dropped a game en route to this semi-final really easy wins all the way through against Carissa Turner Perrine Le Bonique of France and Kasina Polakaprova in the quarter-final of Russia Conan was taking the three against Ashina Vignas Waran of France, the sixth seed in the earlier quarterfinal. Conan winning the first 21 9 and losing 23 21 in the second before going on taking the earlier quarterfinal 21 12 to book her place in this her first ranking event of 2014. Some history between these two, as I said. Lena en route to her 2012 victory. Beat Olga in the semi-final on that occasion. 22-20-21-19. And the previous meeting was at the Norwegian International in 2010. With Conan was victorious. 60 in the world, really. Whoever was an example when the world ranking means absolutely nothing. This is surely it. Conan, who is the match. Many top Asians on her day. Against the rising star of Danish badminton, Lena Karsfeld. So many similarities between these two girls. Both, as you can see, extremely accomplished singles players but also has mixed doubles players both players extremely comfortable in mixed doubles and can play world-class mixed doubles Carsfield of course who won the European junior mixed doubles ev uh, event alongside Kim Astrup in 2011 Beautiful shot from Karsfeld. Great deception. Six, you see the 
here the racket she comes in showing the drop showing the little net shot and then pushing it down to the forehand corner quick points only seven minutes gone Beautiful drop from the German. Takes Conan to the interval lead, 11-6. Brisk start to this women's singles semi-final. The German, of course, lives and trains in Saarbrücken. Hampered by injury, so many injuries knee and ankle you can see a lot of strapping well not so much strapping but certainly some strapping on that right knee some physio tape Volga this week has been feeling well she's been telling me she's trying to get back up to speed and in the tournament frame of mind just feel, feeling just a little few aches and pains are associated with her return to competition so long has worn that heavy knee bandage on the right knee but this week decided enough of that so much of it is in the mind back fit and healthy clip across court from the German just landing out again Heavily disguised, pushed down into the forehand corner. Carswell certain, certainly thought about going for that one. They now just closing the gap slowly but surely. Oh, just letting herself down with the sliced cross court. Full stretch and then beautiful from Lena. That cross court. Doing all the good work from the Dane. 12 8, the German leads. Olga at full stretch. And Olga, of course, who represented Belarus at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Moved to Poland very briefly before settling in Germany, where she has lived for so many years and uh, has played German's Bundesliga. Firstly for Gifhorn in the German Bundesliga, but more recent years, BC Bishmisheim. Down in Saarbrücken. Back and serve. Carsfeld. Loopy drop from the German. Tempo to the rallies in this match so far. That's just a basic, almost. Lack of match practice, practice error from Conan. Yeah, you can see the frustration on the face of Lena. She played that around the head. Blood to the head, I think, from Olga. Poor serve. Always had a pretty strange service technique. That was certainly a weak serve. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful cross court from Carsfeld. Closes back to within one. Thirteen all. Certainly the momentum now with the Dane. First time in this game, Lena Carswell just getting her nose in front. Four points in a row. Oh, beautiful again. Really, Carousel starting to find a rhythm in this match. Five points in a row. Carousel persisting. Keep a short backhand serve, and that's six in a row now for the Dane. hard in that rally. in the serve from the Dane. That's just a few too many errors from Conan. And super defense from Lena. Expecting a smash across the body from Olga. Point in nine now for the German. Purple patch for the Dane. going right for all Conan in the second half of that game but superbly played by Lena Karsfeld got off to a bad start Conan was leading of course 9-3 early on and then that purple patch after the interval the German only got one point in the remaining or Karsfeld went on to take the first game 21-14 and really looks in control in this match, it's Lina, who's played two matches less this week than Olga. Olga come through qualification. Interesting to see, certainly, how the German deals. Mental aspect of losing that first game after being in such a dominant position early on. Danish youngsters who have travelled here this week on their own without a coach. Already 
back out on the court, ready to go. Winner of this, of course, will play Beatrice Corrales in the final. Top seed. European runner-up Anathea Madsen in three games in the earlier women's single semi. Attack off the serve of Karsfeld. Assisting with the high serve, Conan. Beautiful shot out wide again. Nina Karsfeld. Super net again for the Dane, looking in sparkling form this week, as I said, not dropped the set en route to this semi-final. Getting the look. Shots tumbling over the net board, superb play. Great speed around the court from Karsfeld, and then the error on the drop. Just hanging in there at the moment. Again, Olga just struggling to cope with the pace, the tempo set by Karsfeld. Better rally that time from the German. Oh, set up a really clever return of serve. Good angle of the cross court. Following it up. An easy net winner. The Dane, Lena Karsfeld, looking really comfortable against Olga Conan. 
first circuit tournament of 2014. That's a poor shot again. The German just looks mentally beaten in this semi-final. A battling three-game win against Sashina in the early earlier quarterfinal. Dominant performance so far from Lena Karsfeld. Seven point into the lead and already one game to the good. Conan who got off to the best start, leading 9 3 in the first game. But since that, it's been all Lena Karsfeld. And she looks to retain the title that she lifted in 2012. mind is get on the attack quickly in that rally and try and put some pressure on Karsfeld. Two good points for the German. It really is all or nothing now for Olga Konen. of the rally. Beautiful backhand. It's around the head, cross court. For the winner. Again, Lena <laughs> managing to get a racket on everything. Lina, such a defiant form was when she went on to win the Finnish Open. It was in May of this year. Really was unbeatable this that week. Certainly looking almost unbeatable this week. Seen so much of Lena Carswell this year. The season been very picky. The number of tournaments she's been playing. Out of the last 16 in Scotland, got to a quarter final in the Bitburger. Other than that, no circuit tournaments played. Played the French and Denmark Open to Super Series, of course. Our home World Championships, which was held in Copenhagen back in August went out the first round of each of those three events 
the last circuit tournament we did see her play, as I said, was a Finnish Open back in May, which she won. Getting the better of Carsfield at the net, which has been a rare occurrence in this match. Tired looking shots now. The German. Better cross court winner, from Conan. It's all a little too late, I think. Eight point lead for Lena. Already one set to the good after winning the first game 21 14. Certainly odds on to book her place in yet another Irish Open final. opportunity to put some pressure on Alina and that's a poor error the first real bad error we've seen from the Dane in this match Sublime cross court net return of serve. Both girls' doubles experience coming to the fore at the beginning of this rally. bouncing still feels she's in this match another error from Lena it's a handful of errors in the last few points the Danes certainly putting the carrot out there for Conan and the momentum can change so quickly in this sport Yeah, nice block backhand, certainly clipped the line. There'll be no arguments from the German. Match point, Lena Karsfeld. You can sense that Olga is really only starting to find the pace of the game she's been out of it for so long and has come through these matches so easily when you come up against somebody of the quality of Lena Karsfeld who plays the game at such a high level and high tempo from the outset you need to be ready Olga has just struggled with that a little bit today but that'll come back to her as she plays more and more tournaments heavy schedule for her coming up in the new year 
Oh, and then a poor serve in the end. After a spirited comeback. It's Alina Carsfeld. It goes on to the Carlton Irish Open final where she'll play Beatrice Corrales. A good week, no doubt, for Olga Conan. Her first tournament of 2014 after returning from long-term injury. She'll be happy with that. Stay tuned. We'll be come back with a quick interview with Lena before the next match on court. Men's doubles. Poles, Swalina and Vaca against for France. Bastien, Karsudi and get on Mittelheiser. Lena, many congratulations. Uh, we haven't spoken in a long time, and I've been commentating on that match. And I'm watching you play. It brought me back to Finland. And I remember you playing in Finland, and the way you played that week was like, I don't think I've seen you play that well. And you're looking like that sharp again. You feeling, uh, so, feeling good on court? Yeah, I'm feeling uh, very good on court. And yeah, like, uh, like in Finland, um, I have uh, had uh, some very, very, very good uh, training uh, weeks. And... Um, I can feel uh, feel it now, so it's uh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, not so many tournaments. You know, you played Scotland and Bitburger and then Worlds and things like that. So a small tournament schedule suits you better? Um, no, it's because I've been injured. Been injured yeah, okay. so um, that's why. And then I have had a, a very good, uh, good, good training and yeah. uh, recovery. Um, so uh, it's been uh, been really good. I can feel it now. <laughs> you played Olga before, I know, and uh, I think it was one all tough player she's coming back from injury but she, uh, she just seemed to be not on the pace you were playing at, at a higher tempo today uh, yeah I think so uh, but it's still a difficult match uh, if I didn't play uh, at a high uh, a high speed today um, she would uh, would have followed me more looking forward now it's another final you've won here two years ago of course it was serious then this is a challenge and uh, Beatrice in the final match you're looking forward to yeah, I do. Uh, it will be uh, a very tough match, but uh, I feel uh, very good on court here uh, in Ireland. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to play tomorrow. Well, Lena, good to see you again, and uh, welcome back, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Lena. Thank you. See you again. <laughs>